Yeah, it was it was a tough battle. Um, you know, we got off to a good start, probably too good a start if you could like, you know, because we were in flow very early on, but that flow got disrupted then, you know. Uh, obviously, Galway came back into the game, settled, and started to get a bit of fluency going themselves. And, uh, you know, it was nip and tuck, really, uh, you know, three, four points up or down, whichever it was, you know. So it was a really tight game. And ultimately, I think it came down to that final quarter, and we won the final quarter, and I think that was the vital part. Really yeah, all of all of all of the bench really. You know, it might he got three points. I know, but like there was assists there from Keane. Uh, you know, Peter came on, got some vital possessions. Uh, Conor Boylan came on, broke a tackle, got a vital possession. You know, not necessarily about the scores as such as you know making an impact. Be that by winning a possession, winning a free, being a, being an assist, giving an assist. Um, you know, whoever finishes, it doesn't matter. It's the, it's the work before that, you know, which makes the, the difference. And they just gave us the energy. I think we were the team with the energy in that last, you know, eight, nine, ten minutes. How the impact that? Listen, he's, he's very exceptionally consistent in what he does, you know, coming off the bench for us. And it's something we value highly in the group. And there's a huge amount of um, significance given to and acknowledgement given to that within our group. So... I think that's why fellas are, are aware of how important it is to the group as a whole and they're happy to, to play that part for us, so long may that last. John, is this a day when your appetite had to be absolutely on the money? Um, to be honest with you, I, I don't think we worked quite hard enough today. Uh, I think when, the, when we look back on it during the week, I think our work rate will just be down a little notch in it and it's something we'll be disappointed with. Uh, we turned over too many balls in the tackle and that's our fault. You know, The tackle is the, the opposition's responsibility but holding on to the ball is ours when we have it. And we coughed up too many balls in the tackle in that middle third. Don't score from the first 10 minutes of the second half, John, I wouldn't say concerned. Listen, it, the, it, was, it was game on, it was fight on You know, at that stage. You know, So... Uh, I wasn't concerned. I was just trying to gauge, you know, how much of that battle were we going to engage in before we started to, you know, try and bring the lads on to to get into that that final phase of the game for us, where we're looking to really press home our advantage with our group. John, when you said you had two good starts, do you think they relaxed after the first game? Uh, I don't know. Maybe maybe tactically we'll see that. Galway did something maybe after 12 minutes or 13 minutes because, you know, obviously we were finding our men, you know, with quality ball in the inside line and there was space there. That space seemed to, you know, they moved back, I can call Mannion, on a more permanent basis, if I remember, on my side of the pitch underneath the Hogan stand, you know, and that closes out space, which makes it more difficult, you know. But they, we still managed to get some good quality ball in, we still managed to get some good quality scores. And we threatened, so it wasn't. We were we were prepared for that. We we understood that that was going to be a possibility, and we were well prepared for that. You took off a couple of big names there. Two weeks to quickly turn around for competition for places for you to change this team. Uh, no, not at all. Um, two weeks is what we had last year in terms of preparation. We can still get quite a good bit of work done in that. Um, obviously, for the next forty-eight hours, it's going to be about recovery. But you know, for those players themselves, they want the challenge for the next ten days. You know, they, if a fellow's disappointed after his performance today, he wants the battle in training next Friday night, next Sunday, next Tuesday week. He wants that because he wants to fight for his own place and he wants to fight to get himself to the level where he knows he's prepared for the game that's coming. It's not any really to be quite honest, because all we're worried about is. The game this day two weeks. The game that you're referring to was three years ago. You know, so we can't change the past, but by God, we can influence the future. So, yeah, we'll be going after our preparation to make sure that we're the best team we can be in two weeks' time. Okay, not everything we did today was at the level that we would have liked it to have been. Uh, you know, I referred to our work right there earlier, and you know, there's other aspects of our game in terms of our pass completion as well, and just the retention of ball. We know it wasn't quite at the level that we wanted it to be. Uh, so we're going to be going off. We're going to be going after that for the next ten days to make sure it's right for the next day. John, um, the last three games have been pushed to the brink by Clare twice and again today. Are you are you worried that your form has come back a little bit, or you 
coming, but Limerick have always got to produce their best in Cole Park when it mattered in the last few years. I think, listen, I'm going to be brutally honest with you. Every day we go out, the kitchen sink is fired at us. And whatever's left over after is fired as well. And we've had to stand up and take everything that's been fired at us all season long. And that's just the way it is. And I don't see it going to change. But I know that every day our boys have stood up and withstood everything that was fired at them. And shown great resilience, determination, composure, calmness and an ability to see out the game. And I have great trust in that. So I'm worried about nothing. I didn't watch it. No. It was irrelevant to me until we got through today. So there's nothing to be gained from watching it. Better off to walk the dog. We'll watch it tomorrow. <laughs> Definitely watch it tomorrow. <laughs> and maybe when I get home tonight even. <laughs> but not not yesterday, no. No. character was incredible but listen we know that we trust our group there's an incredible unity and togetherness within our group we, that's never ever been a doubt never been a doubt um, I suppose the only thing that I'd ever hate to do is to lose a game without us producing that on the pitch that you know unity togetherness and resilience that we, we, we pride ourselves on and that would be something okay that I would not like to see happen but listen I know these guys every day they always deliver that uh, you know, we will hit wides, we will misplace passes, you know, we will miss a few chances here and there, we'll concede scores. But ultimately, at the end of the day, we know if we keep at it and keep at it, uh, you know, we'll give ourselves a chance. It was great to get them back in the field, yes. It was great to be able to name them the 26. They've worked very, very hard, uh, as, as have others, like Barry Murphy, for example, was very unlucky not to make match day 26 as well. He put in a huge shift over the, the, the same period of time as Peter. Um, but I suppose, you know, you could see that they still have more work to do, you know. Um, but they have a chance now. They have a chance. And to be fair, as I said earlier, you know, those vital pieces that they gave us today in terms of a couple of possessions, a couple of assists, a couple of tackles, all of those bits and pieces, you know, were valuable to us in that period of time that they were on the field. And I've no doubt that it'll do them a power of good in terms of their inner belief that they're over their inner injuries themselves, you know, Keen sprinting down the line here, chasing, I don't know, was it Tom Monaghan at one stage? You know, knowing that you can do all these things that you've been asked to do and preparing yourself to do, that gives them great, real confidence, real confidence that they're over their injuries and that they can press on now. Sorry? You said maybe you weren't quite at your best, but you did well. Listen, because we're up against a fantastic opposition, really top quality opposition, you know, and. Uh, you know, we have to respect that. That's that's why, plain and simple. If that, if that challenge wasn't there, we'd have, you know we wouldn't have be saying that though, you know that we were disappointed with elements of our game. No, they, they got a, they got an extra player back. Yeah, um, Cahill Mannion came back and filled filled a, as a seventh defender, if you like. Okay, we won't call it a fever. Um, so, like they put more pressure on the ball going into our forward line, and it was out the field. In fact, where the difference was made, not in. Uh, not in, in the, the inside line. It was it was out the field where the pressure was put on that would mitigate the, the quality of the ball. And uh, the ones, do you, you just go back to the other thing? We wouldn't get quite the same fluency in it. Um, I, I know you were, uh, you were referred to the interior defence being more quality, but the game today. Um, but would the four weeks since the last game just. Uh, no. Not no. Definitely not, no. Definitely not. No, because we know ourselves we were, we were happy with the, the, 